not in public space. time zone. I'm Alan C. You're with Johnny J in the house here on the Intervision FM universe. You're not going to want to miss today's podcast brought to you by Bonefields Foundation, Chinook Foundation, Christian Brothers Moving Company, Englewood, Colorado. Also, Richard Damiano of the Littleton Eye Clinic. Stay with us. God. That's who we love, and that's who we serve. Is running out? Yes. Hi, everybody. This is Godfather Soul James Brown. I tell you, this beat is his own. My man is on. Check him out. This is the Godfather Soul James Brown saying, stay with it and hit it. <laughs> Got the man of the hour, Johnny J, in the house, Intervision FM Universe. Welcome, folks. It's Tuesday. Super yes. Tuesday. Super Tuesday. And hopefully, uh, it, it, well, here in Colorado, we finally got it, got it, got it where the Republicans have sent in most of their, their ballots long before and at more of a bigger rate than uh, the Democrats, which is kind of surprising. But, but I guess, you know, they said, well, when... I have a feeling that they're not enthusiastic as as they could be because they see how it's hitting the family <laughs> financially. Right. So so they can lie. You know, you can keep lying to yourself, saying that the sun will come out tomorrow. <laughs> It'll be a bad tomorrow. <laughs> it's like yeah, mm. so that. Uh, so anyway, so if you haven't voted, hopefully you have, and hopefully you didn't run across a machine that um, had technical difficulties. There are 15 states throughout the union in the United States that uh, are going through the uh, the voting process, and it yes. is important to get out there and vote, especially for those in the younger generation. The oh yeah. Early voters, the 18-year-olds to 25-year-olds, the 25 to 30-year-olds. Man, if you guys really, you know, are kind of wondering, hey, what's the point? You know, they've already got it locked down. We all know what's going on. What's my hmm. vote going to matter? Well, I guarantee you this. Uh, my friend Johnny here, president and station manager of Intervision FM, has been all around the world. He... Um, <laughs> He can tell you from personal experience uh, that our voting process is not only a privilege, but it's also a right that we should never take for granted. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And like I said, parties have been, you know, trying to submerge voting for, for years. I mean, it used to be a, a thing, in this, especially in the South, where they said, well, in order for you to vote, you have to know how to read, which... Hey, of course, it's reasonable. It's good to be able to read. Yeah, but if if you're not if you're only saying that for one group of people and you're not saying that for another group of people, then that's when it becomes a a, a problem. Or uh, let's see, well, some kind of lit, you have to take some kind of test. Or but, but you know all this all these shenanigans that that go on shows you that that people want to have a, a voice in who's representing them. Yeah, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, I know we went after the, the de deconstruction after the Civil War. Uh, the Democrats tried to, um, you know, force people to, to vote the Democrats in uh, when they were when I guess most of the the, the Black Americans they were um, voting Republicans because the vote Republicans was really on their side concerning their freedom. And but you know through a little coercion and stuff like that they they said okay uh, they threatened them and stuff like that the the vote Democrat so there's always been a, a party of power by any means necessary 
and and we'll do harm to you to get that vote. But but always remember we, we fought through all that stuff and and now we're here we're here at this point where you know what does it say? Weak you know, good times make weak men, hard times make stronger men and women, I guess. So these Absolutely. are the times. These Absolutely. are the times. These, these are the times right here. So yeah. You know, I mean, we've had it good. Uh, we've flown high. We've gotten to the point where we were able to give our kids pretty much everything. And uh, now we've we've gotten to a place where we're going to have to determine who we are as the American people going forward. Um, are we still united? I say yes, we are. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So here in Dem well, it'll be five o'clock, seven o'clock. We'll be closed here in a minute, seven o'clock. Right, right. But uh, I'm looking. So, you know, I, I heard like sixteen and then fifteen, sixteen and fifteen. Now I'm hearing fifteen. So was there ever one other place, or was that just a mistake in their part that it was sixteen? I'm sorry, I'm not understanding. Well, 16 okay, they, they said sixteen, sixteen. They said there's fifteen. Uh, states primaries today, or oh yeah, fifteen including uh include or no sixteen including Colorado, isn't it? Yeah, and I, yeah, because I keep they keep going back sixteen, then they say fifteen, and sixteen. So maybe they're not counting themselves. They're just saying okay, fifteen per 